Hey, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. I apologize if my mic is too loud or not loud enough. I'm struggling with it right now. I'm going to be getting a new one. So what I want to talk about today is making your gameplay smooth. And I don't mean you're getting good frame rate. I don't mean, you know, you're crushing 500 FPS and your game is technically running great. I mean smooth. Smooth to you, smooth to the player, smooth on your stream, and smooth on your PC hardware from not overusing it. For example, on a set of Corsa, you can run the game at 500 FPS in single player. But if you have a monitor <clears throat> that isn't capable, why are you running all of those extra frames and pushing your GPU that hard? That is my theory here. Now, at the same time, I've tested this myself over and over and over again with many people, and the end result is always the same. This does work. This will provide you the smoothest experience you can play Assetto Corsa with. So let's get right into it, and let's make this so easy for everybody. The good thing here is it's also super fast. So step one is up to you guys. It's up to you guys to figure out what your consistent frame rate is and what your kind of low is and what your higher point is. It's essential to know these three things while you play in order to get these settings to work properly. So the two settings I'm talking about here is your frame rate limiter and adjusting the frame time to improve the smoothness of the game. So here's the example, okay? I get 140 FPS in the game, no problem. It dips down to about 130, 125. That's the pretty much lowest I'll see it go, is around 125. So what I like to do is I set my frame rate cap to 110 or 120. Now my GPU isn't going to push out the, the extra frames up to 240 for no reason when I only have a 165 hertz monitor. It's not going to push the GPU as hard for no reason, okay? Now the next thing we need to do in conjunction with this setting is go to custom shaders patch, general patch settings, and scroll down to adjust frame time to improve smoothness. And if you look, it says pretty much just increases the FPS limiter value a bit to make sure there will be no occasional drop to 30 FPS because of a possible hiccup. So this setting is causing your frame rate limiter to have more headroom. It's going to try and push the frame rates just a little bit higher so when you do drop, hopefully you drop down to what the frame rate limit is actually at. So that's the theory and I will say this will not work if you get let's say a bad example of 100 FPS is what you get and you drop down to 64 and sometimes you see about 55. If you try and limit your frame rate somewhere around 70, it's not going to work and the game is going to be worse for smoothness because you aren't able to stay above what your cap is. That's the whole thing here. You need to be able to get at least at least about 65 FPS, maybe 70, 75, and then you need to make sure that your lows aren't going under 60. As long as your settings are allowing your game to run in a high frame rate, that you're getting more frames than you need, and you can limit the frame rate because your GPU is pushing the game so much so easily, this is how you do it. And for me, even with my PC being really high end, um, you know, 7900 XTX, 3D processor, 128 gigs of RAM, even when I'm running the latest and greatest frame generation and, you know, anti-lag and all of these AMD things on this game and it's telling me I get 600 FPS, it runs better and smoother at a lower FPS with the limited FPS where it's locked in at that FPS. There's no hiccups in the gameplay, there's no stutters, everything stops mattering like that and you can start to turn up your graphics even more. I promise you this works. I've been doing this for a long time. I've tested this with tons of people. The only thing that I won't be responsible for here is your presets that you use to get your high FPS. 
I will say if you want a custom preset done for your PC, for AC video and CSP, and to get your game to run as good as it's going to run, I have a tier 2 Patreon for that. It's like 6 bucks or something, it takes me a lot longer than the time is worth, but I do like to help, it's just one of those user specific issues that I can't sit here and spend an hour or two on every person that comes to me and wants to do this. It's gotten to a point where I have to kind of limit the traffic by putting a really small price on my time for people that don't want to figure out what settings they need. For everybody else, there is free settings in the Discord, all sorts that you can check out, and I guarantee you there's specs in there for everybody, so if you're not someone that wants to pay somebody to do something for you, you know, just simply go to the Discord and get everything you need for free, and start looking at the videos I provide for help, and then get your FPS higher, and then come back to this video and watch this one, and see how to put the frame rate limit on properly. While you're doing this, I highly recommend you open up render stats in game and also check your render stats to see how low your FPS is going. I also have a video for that. My channel here has gotten to a point where I'm starting to get videos out for almost everything and the things that people do need are very user specific, they're time consuming and with my knowledge and experience I've just decided that you know, I'm getting busier, things are moving on, the servers are getting better, you know, I'm having fun with the games and stuff, and I just can't devote all of my time to helping every single person with user-specific problems like this one, right? This is a unique problem, it's an easy solution, it's only hard if, you know, you don't watch videos and you just, you're the kind of person that would rather just pay somebody a couple bucks, go for it. But everything's here guys, all the information's here, this is how you do it, this is what you're after. You're after a steady frame rate that you can limit the FPS above 60 on the lower end of your frame rate. As long as you can do that and enable these two settings, your game is going to run better than it ever has, I promise you that. Have a good day everybody, take care, stay gaming, it's not about what you got, it's about how you set it up.